Hello, thank you so much for joining us and welcome to MD Newsline. Please introduce yourself to our audience. Oh, thank you so much. I feel honored being here today. I'm Cameron Nahir, one of the endocrinologists in Brooklyn. I came uh, here in ACE. My experience at ACE is truly wonderful. I feel like I get connected more here with amazing people and I'm excited to apply what I've learned in my practice. Great. So um, you did two posters here at yes. ACE. So tell me a little bit about that. Okay. So I really want to share the most interesting case that I presented at the poster presentation. The case was like we described a patient who presented with uh, psych psychiatric symptoms and hypoglycemia. And later on, he was diagnosed with neuroendocrine tumor, which is not the usual presentation. Wow. So yeah, tell me, how did we get to the actual accurate diagnosis? Um, what, what was the process and, and what can we learn from this? So he was a guy who was like sleeping well, like more than six hours every night. But all of a sudden he noticed that he couldn't sleep like before. He was sleeping like one to two hours per night, who was unusual and uh, like deprived, sleep deprived. He was depressed. And he had the symptoms of low sugars. He was shaking, sweating, so he was eating a lot. So he couldn't tolerate all these psychiatric symptoms of depression, not able to sleep. Imagine you are not sleeping. And last few days, he slept only one to two hours per night. So he got desperate and he did a suicidal attempt. He stabbed himself on the chest. And that's what was re reason for admission in the hospital for chest wound. So when he came in the emergency room and they did definitely all the workup and the CAT scan choose to see the chest uh, because it was a deep wound with the knife. Then they found a lesion um, because the test was done from the chest and the belly. They found a lesion in the pancreas. And in the emergency room, he was frequent hypoglycemia, meaning low sugars. Lowest was 28 milligram per deciliter. So he was treated with hypoglycemia. When they called endocrine for hypoglycemia, we definitely recommended the workup for biochemical workup for hypoglycemia. And uh, his symptoms was improving with the glucose. So he completely met the criteria Weeple's triad to diagnose him as hypoglycemia. So we had the biochemical workup and the meanwhile they also uh, consulted us because he was uh, like what to do with the CAT scan finding that was showing some nodules in the pancreas. So when we confirm biochemically that he is hypoglycemic because of high insulin, uh, we started thinking about the neuroendocrine tumor in the pancreas. So uh, we ordered, like we obtained an MRI, which showed there is a mass sitting in the head of the pancreas. So eventually, um, we did all other biochemical workup to rule out MAN syndrome, which is part, this, uh, part of this neuroendocrine workup, because when you have a tumor in the pancreas, you want to rule out other part of the syndrome. So we did all biochemical workup, but eventually he was, uh, he got surgery. He got the mass removed and the pathology confirmed us. It was really a neuroendocrine tumor. And we did all the genetic workup, but fortunately he was not positive for any of those. And part of the workup for the syndrome, we did MRI of his brain. We found there is a lesion. Um, we thought that it could be related with the man one, but the lesion was less than a centimeter. Um, but he didn't have any other symptoms of anything. But again, uh, he had eventually got nephrectomy because he had a lesion in the kidney as well. Uh, but he continued follow-up, like after hospital discharge, he continued follow-up in the clinic when he was coming and like he was so happy that after the surgery he didn't have any low sugar mm -hmm. symptoms he was able to sleep you can see the difference because we saw him as inpatient completely different person when we saw him as outpatient it was amazing seeing his experience his smiling face finally wow that that's really amazing 